That was the Central Bank um, Governor, Mr. Godwin uh, Mephiel. Well, Laddie, I thought Elon Musk was only concerned about the implications of yes, Bitcoin mining yes. on the environment. Exactly. Not that he does not believe in crypto yeah. anymore. I'm sure you have all that details <laughs> there. Well, the truth is that uh, most uh, central bankers are not a big fan of Bitcoin or the blockchain which is understandable. It's actually new technology. But let's uh, take a look at some of uh, Elon Musk's uh, tweets. The first one, he said, Tesla has suspended vehicle purchases using Bitcoin. We are concerned about rapidly increasing use of fossil fuels for Bitcoin mining and transactions, especially coal, which has the worst emissions of any fuel. Cryptocurrency is a good idea at many levels, and we believe it has a promising future. But this cannot come at a great cost to the environment. Tesla will not be selling any of its Bitcoin, and we tend to use it for transactions as soon as mining transitions to more sustainable energy. We're also looking at other cryptocurrencies. So he is still quite uh, bullish on cryptocurrencies. That's Elon Musk. Let's look at the other tweet there. To be clear, I strongly believe in crypto, but it can't drive a massive increase in fossil fuel, especially coal. Then the next one. You know he's a big fan of Doge there. <laughs> if you'd like to help develop Doge, please submit ideas on GitHub. So, you know, from these tweets, he seems still quite uh, bullish. And Very he has bullish. said he's not uh, sold any of his $1.5 billion investment in Bitcoin. So, it's yeah, still there. It's still there. It's mm -hmm. still there. It's still there. Let's look at the market. Market cap, $1.78 trillion dollars. Up about 6.69%. 24-hour volume is down about 14%. Bitcoin dominance dropped there at 42.80%. Let's talk to uh, Rume Ofi, now digital market analyst. Hello, Rume. Okay, I guess we lost Rume there. Let's uh, look at price Bitcoin, $40,707 uh, this morning, up about 4.84%. 24-hour volume. $57.84 billion traded this morning in Bitcoin. Let's look at the charts here. Bitcoin uh, right now has uh, made a new, we have a new local support at $30,000, about $31,000. Now it's uh, bounced up to about $40,361, nearing the 200-day uh, moving average there on the one-day chart. So if it breaks this 200-day uh, chart, who knows what could happen next? It could come back down or still uh, go up. So it remains to be seen. Price of Ethereum, 2,899. Incredible recovery there for Ethereum. Fell as low as about 1,900, below the $2,000 uh, level. It's up 9.33% this morning. 24-hour volume, $50.05 uh, billion uh, dollars traded. I don't know if we have Rume now. Hello, Rume. Hello, Ladi. It's a good morning. Good morning, Rome. Great to have you. So we have uh, Bitcoin, altcoins, you know, they've been recovering, you know, well now. And uh, right. my question now is, is the bull market still on? All right. The bull market is still on. Uh, today we can see Bitcoin doing about $40,000. Personally, I'm waiting for those in the U.S. to wake up and see how far they could put some funds in the market for it to go up. And... Um, how we could um, get more better. But I'm actually looking at 40, 42,500 uh, to, to flip really bullish uh, for now because uh, altcoins are also coming up, though, but we can have to ride for a while first before we see uh, an emergence again of another altcoin season. But for now, all attention is on Bitcoin. We are still in the bull season. This is not the first time where market is um, going down, and this won't be the last. Uh, I know a lot of weekends are freaking up now, and... Um, uh, the real guys are still keeping their heads straight, still standing, and the best is yet to come. Okay. All right, Rumi, I don't know if you listened to what the central bank uh, governor, uh, Godwin Emefile, said. He talked about uh, cryptocurrency being encrypted. So you can't really see transactions uh, between uh, two people. You're a blockchain expert. Can you tell us what the blockchain really is? Okay, uh, this system, I think uh, the, the CBN gov uh, governor had uh, uh, just said his own part. Uh, coming up from a, a tech perspective, uh, cryptocurrency, most especially the flagship uh, cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, is not anonymous. As so we see, it's pseudonymous. That is why we have uh, issues of uh, a crime being paid with cryptocurrency.
cryptocurrency or Bitcoin, some other uh, cryptocurrency and Bitcoin being actually investigated and tracked. So that's why we have um, platforms like Shinality. We have all of the tools that you can use in tracking bad actors using Bitcoin to do various uh, dubious things. So if you ask me, I don't think uh, that he, he has more information about that. And it's possible he could do to involve stakeholders that are in this technology because he's coming out from the, from the finance point of view. So we could advise him better on how all of these things uh, could work really, really well. It is not the way they are looking at it. They are gains in this, and the country as a whole has more to benefit, most especially at this time where we are going through double-digit inflation and all yeah. of the economic uh, issues happening globally. Okay, but Rumi, my concern is that one man, Elon Musk, can sway a whole two-point-something trillion dollar market with a tweet. That is actually concerning. Okay, I, I think I think I think uh, Elon Musk. No, it's uh, it's, it's what uh, it's, it's not just uh, anybody. It's a billionaire. What about a hundred and fifty-two billion dollars with five companies? He's, uh, he's a global figure, the athlete, and he has influence. Among all of the world's richest, I think he's the only one really, really active about um, digital assets and um, Bitcoin, basically, and um, other cryptocurrency like Dogecoin, right? I, it, it's, it's what uh, being concerned about. His it, it interest is um, really, really welcome, and it's amazing. I think other billionaires are going to come in very soon, and the meeting was convened uh, about yesterday with... Uh, the CEO of MicroStrategy, one of the uh, finance um, um, this, um, companies in the U.S. where we've been buying Bitcoin all of, uh, all before now, they've actually conveyed a meeting to raise concern about the energy consumption of Bitcoin, right? So they're going to be uh, how to manage energy consumption using a better form of energy that would not affect the, the environment. I think okay. Concern, uh, your concern is actually very valid, right? Or yeah. not just one man, but this is the infant system. Bitcoin is just 20 years old, just a decade past now. We will get mm. better. It's just too young. This is the okay. uh, formation stage. And we will get better to maybe $100 trillion worth of uh, market capitalization. We will be seeing just a tweet changing okay. the market dynamics. All right. All right, Rumi, thank you so much. We'll keep watching to see how the, the market matures. Thank you so much for your time. So, Jimmy, that's it. And I say the market, market is actually maturing very it's well. Maturing. And it's then if Elon Musk is talking about um, whoever that has an idea of how to develop the doll yeah. should come up. But perhaps you do. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe. <laughs> so what coins should we be watching? Well, for now, the, the old coins are actually, you know, doing well at this time. They've been recovering well. But I'm still watching uh, Digibyte and ZRX at this time. All right. We'll keep watching. Yeah. But as we will always tell you, Please ask, make sure mm -hmm. you get better information from professionals before professionals. you go into this market. Yeah. All right, that's it on the program. Thank you for watching. I'm Chimeze Obi Iwago. And I'm Ladi Williams. Thank you for watching.